So you like to watch TV at night while others are trying to sleep. Or maybe you prefer to block out the noise of your surroundings while you watch your favorite show. Connecting wireless headphones to your television doesn't have to be difficult, and there's a number of ways you can pull it off regardless of what television you have. Here are four of the easiest ways. One of the most straightforward ways is purchasing a pair of dedicated headphones that are built for televisions. These typically come with a base station and connect to your television using a 3.5mm jack, RCA cable, or optical, and they work over radio frequency instead of Bluetooth, which comes with one major benefit. Range. Radio frequency headphones typically have a range of about 300 feet when they're unobstructed. You can find these radio frequency wireless headphones for your television for anywhere from $20 to $300 and the audio quality will vary greatly. Having a dedicated pair of wireless headphones for your television might have its own advantages, but if you've already got a pair of Bluetooth headphones, you can actually connect those to your TV and it might cost you a lot less. Most televisions don't come with Bluetooth built in, but all you really need is a Bluetooth transmitter, which you can find online or at a local retailer for as little as $15. Basically, this takes the analog or optical audio signal from your television and transmits it using Bluetooth. So all you need to do is connect this to your television, pair some Bluetooth headphones, and begin watching. Apple TV, Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, and some Android TV streamers allow you to connect Bluetooth headphones for private listening. However, some Android TV boxes only support Bluetooth for keyboard and mouse input. And depending on which model of Roku and Roku remote you have, you can either use private listening through the Roku app or plug wired headphones into the headphone jack in the remote. The Roku 3, Roku Premiere Plus, Roku 4, and Roku Ultra all feature this in their remotes. And finally, if you have a gaming console plugged into your television, you may also be able to use that for wireless audio. Unfortunately, Bluetooth support for PlayStation 4 is limited to specific headsets, and Xbox One doesn't support Bluetooth at all. Your best bet with a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is simply plugging wired headphones into the 3.5 millimeter jack in the controllers. Some Xbox One controllers have a 3.5 millimeter jack built in, while others may require an adapter. For more tips and tricks and other how-tos, be sure to check out cnet.com forward slash how-to.